Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us for the next gen enterprise architecture webinar series. My name is Amit Kara, your host for the series. Today, as progressive organizations are moving to a data centric strategy, they find it a challenge to meet the business requirements for fast delivery of data that they can trust. With more types of data, hundreds of systems, and new technologies all rapidly changing, it is time to take a data first view of architectures. So to start this architecture series, I have with me today Darshan Joshi and Awes Syed, who will talk to us about Informatica's approach to an AI driven intelligent data management platform and how a modular flexible platform is critical to building a foundation that can adapt to the requirements for future use cases with minimal internal disruption to an organization. Welcome, gentlemen, and thanks for sharing your insights. Darshan, we'll start with you. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Next Generation Architecture webinar series. I'm Darshan Joshi. I lead Technology, Strategy, and Shared Services Group at Informatica. We are very pleased to kick off this architecture-focused webinar series. We are in the middle of many generational shifts. Why do you do data processing? That why is shifting? Because the business drivers are shifting. Where do you store and process the data? That where is shifting? To cloud, to hybrid, and to multi-cloud scenarios. What data do you process? That what is shifting? To a mix of structured, semi-structured, and unstructured data. When do you process data? Streaming, social media, and big data are also shifting the when part of the equation. Who are the users of your data? That who is shifting? There is a shift in the way data is mastered from unconnected islands of master data to master data lake. Mastering data is just a starting point. You need 360 degree view of all your business critical data. Data governance is shifting from project-wise compliance focus to enterprise-wide focus on governance, data quality, privacy, and trusted data. There is a thousand X increase in scale, complexity, and number of consumers. Practices of the past will not scale to the future. Why? where, what, when, who, everything is shifting. These shifts are putting many architectural demands on underlying data platforms. Data platforms need to evolve and they need to evolve fast. But the evolution must be modular and it must not force you to rewrite everything. In other words, a good data platform must allow you to evolve how part of the equation at your own pace. This was one of the founding principles of Informatica's intelligent data platform. Shift happens, shift is happening, and shift will happen. How do you build an architecture that is shift proof? We are seeing a common architecture pattern as our customers respond to these shifts. Data is produced by applications, devices, emails, log files, social media, the list goes on, and then stored in various systems, either on-prem or in the cloud or both. You use your integration platform to integrate data from all the inbound touch points. That data is then fed into business operations and analytics. Data is also being democratized as different types of users are interested in different aspects of the data. Some of the data is channeled to customers and partners through various outbound channels. In addition, you have your own AI initiatives. And as you know, AI gets better with better data. How do you get that better data? 
that is supplied by the platform. You need clean, connected, secure and mastered data more than ever for your own AI initiatives. And the platform itself is AI driven to become more usable, faster and more intelligent. We call this platform AI capability Claire. Claire is different from your own AI initiatives. Claire is to your AI initiatives what metadata is to data. Your AI initiatives get better with better data. Claire gets better with better metadata, which is supplied by the Metadata Foundation and Catalog. Both are part of IDP. You need data platform that allows you to respond to all the shifts and allow you to do that at your own pace and feed that data into traditional or AI initiatives. You may not use everything provided by the platform, but isn't it reassuring to know that the platform has it all? Here is IDP in its full glory. What do you notice when you see this? It is a modular platform. A modular platform is interoperable, reusable, and allows you to start from any component and expand at your own cadence. All sharing benefits of a single underlying foundation. Among our customers, we have seen that everybody's starting point is different. Everybody's architectural destination is different. Everybody's data journey is different and everybody's roadblocks are different. IDP is designed to let you evolve your architecture from your starting point to your destination to address your data challenges at your cadence. Now let's look at some of these foundational components of IDP. Connectivity is one of the core components of IDP. Your data processing pipelines start with connectivity and end with connectivity. And in some cases like lookup and hierarchy, there is a connectivity midstream also. <clears throat> Where does your data live in your organization? In cloud, on-prem, inside applications, in relational databases, or in NoSQL databases? Is it in data warehouses? or in analytical systems or file systems like CSV or Excel or in other special format files? Or does it live in object stores like S3? Or does it live in message hub? Do you use data from social media? The answer to all these questions is very likely all of the above or most of the above. Would you change your data sources or targets if your data processing software does not have the connectivity to some of them? The answer obviously is no. Connectivity to everything is a must. Connectivity must be broad and ubiquitous. Broad connectivity abstracts heavy lifting involved in various connection mechanisms, security protocols and, and so on. Connectivity must also be deep and intelligent. Let's talk about depth a little. Let's take an example. Say you want to read data from S3, do some processing, and load that data into Redshift. We can detect whether that processing can be done in the S3 and Redshift layer. And if yes, we will translate those transformations to native S3 and Redshift commands to do that heavy lifting in the underlying uh, layer. Our connectivity layer and engine collaborate to do these optimizations. Connectivity also feeds metadata into Catalog and Claire. Data engine is the heart of the platform. It executes all mapping, transformation logic for integration, for data quality, for data masking, for B2B, for profiling for all data pipelines. Engine works hand in hand with connectivity. While connectivity can be IO and network heavy, engine typically is memory and compute heavy. 
In many cases, it is better to push that compute down to where data is to reduce the impact of I.O. cost. In other words, move compute to where data is. We had this philosophy before Hadoop days when we pushed compute down to databases and data warehouses. With Hadoop, we push compute down to Hadoop using Spark. Engine also is at the heart of the abstraction. When there are multiple engine options, we provide smart executor to decide the engine that is best suited for given work. We invoke the right engine, either native, SQL pushdown, Spark or Spark streaming, that can run your mapping with the base performance. We talked about connectivity and data engine. Let's talk about design time and runtime environments. In the early days, there was no specific design environment and people did hand coding using SQL. Some vendors came up with compile time code generation. Informatica pioneered codeless approach. This approach allowed you to focus on what you want to do rather than how to do it. All of this was done on-prem. With the advent of cloud, some vendors came up with the design on-prem and run in cloud idea. Informatica pioneered the true integration platform as a service, or IPaaS, in cloud 13 years back. With IPaaS, you don't need to worry about setting up design time environment or runtime environment. You log into Informatica cloud, do your design there, and then the runtime environment, which can be on-prem or cloud, is managed by Informatica. We talked about the concept of bringing compute to where your data is. We extended that concept to bring your platform to where your data is with IPaaS. If your data is in AWS, we bring IPaaS to AWS. If your data is in Azure, we bring your IPaaS to Azure. If your data is in GCP, we bring IPaaS to GCP. And now, we are taking yet another monumental step in the evolution of the data platform. We have always supported static compute as a runtime environment. We added support for elastic compute with our big data solutions. Now we are adding support for serverless compute with our integration at scale offering, leveraging the power of Apache Spark and Kubernetes. Serverless means you don't need to have Hadoop cluster just to process your data. We bring up the required compute dynamically and shut down after the compute is over. Let's put all the three dimensions together. Integration at scale is culmination of innovative evolution along three dimensions. Codeless design, serverless runtime, and platform as a service. But wait, there is a fourth dimension. What is after integration at scale? Streaming at scale, data quality at scale, mastering at scale, you get the idea. As we build the platform for the future, we leverage many of the innovations happening in the open source world. We are open source friendly and we don't have not invented here or NIH syndrome. We do that so that you benefit from these innovations, but without having to experiment with them all. Think of these open source components as off the shelf ingredients we use them to build our offerings. We, of course, have our own ingredients too, and the recipe is always ours. If you use Informatica Cloud, you must have used some of these services. These services are made up of many smaller microservices. Each of them does only one thing, and one thing very well. Each exposes simple APIs, each is stateless, and each manages its own persistence. These simple rules make them completely modular, reusable, and easily integratable. 
Since they are stateless, we can bring up multiple instances of same microservice for both scalability and high availability. Reusability is also very critical. For example, when I code, if I have to do the same thing twice, I write a script or a, micro, or a macro for that. I don't need to keep typing or clicking the same things again and again. Same principle applies here also. Once you write a microservice, it is very efficient to reuse it. And that is what allows us to add new services to Informatica Cloud faster. Now that we have covered the principles of IDP, let me bring on Aves to talk about metadata and AI. Thank you, Darshan. We have talked about unified metadata and Claire before. In this section, I'll cover a few points on how we use AI and ML techniques in our platform to improve our solutions and simplify product experience for our users. We'll also highlight the different machine learning techniques we use in a few of the features. As a quick overview, Claire is the intelligence layer built over the metadata collected from across the enterprise. This metadata, metadata comes from enterprise data systems and also from human interactions. This collected metadata is used by the ML algorithms to enable multiple Claire-driven functionalities. For example, for clustering similar fields and data sets, to providing recommendations to users on the best data set required for them, and for inferring schema of a complex file. AI and ML techniques can be used in a number of places to make the implementation of data management simpler. We normally categorize them into four major benefit areas. Those that improve user productivity, those that allow for scalability and operational efficiency, capabilities which improve the understanding of the data and its relationships, and finally, the capabilities which help in identifying quality and privacy issues in data. Machine learning is the most common implementation technique for AI, but ML requires data to learn from. In case of data management, it's not just the data, but we also use metadata to learn. It's a combination of data, metadata, and ML models which deliver the intelligence capabilities of Claire. Many of you are already familiar with the various ML algorithms. Supervised and unsupervised learning can be used for a variety of purposes, for tagging data, predicting values, clustering data, for processing natural languages, and providing recommendations based on object characteristics or user preferences. One major well-known challenge in AI is having access to enough data to train the models. This is not always available. So with Claire, we typically lean towards using unsupervised learning first. In this slide, we can see the ML techniques we use for our features across the various Informatica products. For example, data classification is used in the data catalog, data set recommendations is used in data preparation, and so on. Claire uses different ML algorithms to implement this functionality. It uses transitive closure to determine impact analysis. It infers data lineage by using measures like Jacquard index and cosine similarity. It uses edit distance measures like Levenstein and Jaro Winkler to group together similarly named fields. Claire determines functional dependencies using machine learning techniques like random forest and uses deep learning models for natural language parsing. At Informatica, we started our ML journey several years ago. These are some of the functionality we have already delivered in the various products today. In data integration, we have intelligent structure discovery for understanding the schema of complex files and handling schema drift at runtime. In governance, we use distance measures to associate business terms to physical data elements. In master data management, contextual matching is used to rapidly link unstructured information to the master data records. But what we have delivered so far is just a start. There's a lot more that can be accomplished by the judicious use of AI for data management. The extensive Claire capabilities we have in the roadmap for our products range from self-tuning of processes, natural language interface for search, projecting the value of the data and the risk it faces, and improving users' understanding and experience of the data. I would like to highlight one specific area where AI's benefits are especially relevant. Data governance is an initiative which requires collaboration across multiple users in different departments and is typically a costly manual exercise. To be effective, governance requires close collaboration, exchange of information, as well as discovery and human curation of data. 
AI techniques automate data and relationship discovery, help in the translation of business requirements to technical rules, and reduce the barriers to the interaction between business users and data stewards. Let's take a quick look at a specific ML-driven capability we are delivering for data governance in the coming months. Business users typically express quality or validation rules for business entities in natural languages. In this example, a rule on business term called loan is specified in English. Today, a developer or a data quality engineer works with a business expert to convert this rule into an executable expression. This requires several back and forth meetings between the business users and developers. The time that this takes can be reduced significantly by using a natural language to expression translator. Using natural language processing libraries like Spacey or Stanford Core NLP, we can create dependency parse graph of the English text and translate that into intermediary expression, which is then converted into a data quality rule. This can be done automatically across hundreds of rules, reducing the development and deployment time for data quality in support of data governance. In a nutshell, we are on a path to massive improvements in the productivity and efficiency of data management and analytical projects. With selective use of AI, we can reduce the effort required to find, integrate, clean, master, and get the data ready for digital transformation initiatives. Whether it's data governance or data integration or mass data management, the cost of implementation will be reduced significantly. The roughly 80% of project time spent these days to get the data right will be a thing of the past. Thank you, Oves. We talked about the platform, metadata, and AI. What about the people? that use the platform. People ignore the design that ignores people. Right user experience for right user at right time is very critical. We design for people. We design for that integrated experience, whether on-prem or cloud, whether you are a technical user or a business user. We design for AI-powered experience identifying intent, recommending right next steps based on the context, and personalizing experience for each persona are very critical. You will see more and more AI-driven recommendations in the product, all powered by Claire. We design for you because what you do matters and what you do matters more than ever. In summary, IDP supports multiple data processing patterns. IDP is architected for cloud and hybrid scenarios, and it provides intelligent capabilities through Catalog and Claire. Thank you. Thanks, Darshan and Awez for a fantastic overview. So I think the folks watching can appreciate how Informatica's modular and AI-driven data platform can be leveraged for speed reusability to drive business outcomes. So with that said, there are quite a few questions that came through the chat window. Uh, let's take a few minutes to answer those uh, questions. All right, Darshan, first question to you. So a longtime Informatica user asks, Informatica Big Data supports open source processing engines like Spark. How does Informatica leverage other open source technologies? Absolutely. We support and leverage open source innovations like Kafka, Spark, containers, and Kubernetes, to name a few. This is actually win-win for both customers and Informatica. For customers, you don't need to learn every new technology coming up in the market, and you don't need to move your logic from one technology to another. You can continue to use the abstraction layer that we provide. And for Informatica, we can tap into open source innovations and integrate with our own innovations to offer differentiated solutions to you. Another IDP question. Is there a common metadata repository for all platform components for design and runtime? And is this information used in the catalog? IDP does provide a metadata repository. All products use that repository according to their needs. This allows for easy integration and data exchange among Informatica products, but at the same time allows the products to work independently also. 
This repository is different from the catalog. Catalog is the functional superset and rendezvous point for all technical, business, usage, and operational metadata from the whole enterprise. This information is scanned by the scanners and supplied to the catalog. We envision that there will be only one instance of enterprise data catalog for the enterprise. Can you provide additional examples of ML techniques that leverage CLAIR? So for example, you talked about learning-based identification of data relationships. Sure, Amit, happy to. One very important relationship is to understand how data in a data lake can be joined. Typically, when data is landed into a lake from multiple sources, it is not clear how this disparate data can be linked together. Now, Claire helps create those relationships so users can combine the data for richer models and analytics. To achieve this, Claire builds an inverted index to identify atomic primary keys, compute hash identities to figure out composite primary keys. It then classifies tables and columns by size, computes inclu inclusion complement and coverage parameters, and a whole lot of other stuff. And finally, it then uses decision trees with gradient boosting to identify foreign keys, which can then connect the data together, making it much simpler for users to then automatically join together the data for their models. All right, question for Webs. Can you share some additional insight where Claire benefits additional use cases? So for example, how will Claire help a data engineer? Interestingly, Amit, we can use machine learning itself to help the work of a data engineer building machine learning models. For example, using data similarity and data lineage, Claire can help a data engineer find the right source of data to train an ML model on. In addition, by suggesting related data sets, it can help ensure that the final model has considered all the features that are available to an engineer. Finally, Claire helps in model governance by providing a detailed lineage of all the data that has been used to train and operate a data science model. All right, question for Darshan. Being new to Informatica, is the platform suitable for business-oriented users, non-technical users like business analysts? Absolutely. Informatica has always provided business user-centric tools. For example, Analyst Tool is part of IDP. In addition, Axon is a business user-focused data governance tool. Another tool, Enterprise Data Prep, allows business users to work with data and define data pipelines with Excel-like interface. Data mastering tools built on top of platform are primarily used by line of business users and line of business owners. You talked about connectivity, and most existing customers are aware of the breadth and depth of connectivity. Can you elaborate what you meant by intelligence-aware connectivity? <clears throat> uh, definitely. As always mentioned, Enterprise Data Catalog is foundation of our Claire Intelligence offerings. Informatica has connectivity to 200 plus data endpoints. That's a very rich source of technical metadata. By intelligence aware connectivity, I mean connectivity that can supply this technical metadata to catalog. Intelligence aware connectivity makes it easy for us to capture technical metadata from these varied uh, data endpoints. All right, and last question, Darshan. Um, you mentioned integration at scale that provides at scale clusters. Can you explain how this is different from Hadoop? Sure. There are two big differences. One, your data is residing on in the cloud, typically in object stores like S3, Azure Data Lake Store, Google Cloud Store, or in a cloud data warehouse like Redshift, SQL Data Warehouse, Google BigQuery or Snowflake. Compare that to Hadoop. You don't need to allocate compute or Hadoop cluster just to host this data. And number two, when you need to process data, you express your logic using Informatica integration at scale. We will provision required compute in the cloud, run your job, and shut down the compute when not needed. So in other words, you don't need to provision permanent Hadoop cluster, that's capital savings, and you don't need to manage the Hadoop cluster, that's operational savings. Thanks again, Darshan and Awes, for your time.
Before we close, please be sure to download the NextGen Enterprise Architecture eBook, which will give you a quick overview of NextGen Enterprise architectures as it relates to leveraging the data catalog, implementing a data lake, or even looking at data governance. Thanks for watching.